welcome to this relaxing body scan. My name's Jason Newland. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There's really nothing for you to do. I'm just going to talk gently. We're going to focus on the different parts of your body. Starting at the top of your head, moving down to your feet. And you can just let yourself relax. Allow yourself to feel however you feel. During a body scan, you may notice some parts of your body perhaps feel more relaxed than other parts. Quite often there's this accumulation of relaxation. So as parts of your body that you focus on naturally begin relaxing, then other parts of your body continue moving down. And it doesn't matter if there's any background sounds. I'm recording this in the afternoon. There's always a chance that there can be background sounds. Even if it's just my squeaky chair. We don't need complete silence. All you need is just to get yourself comfortable. Lying down on a bed or maybe sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body. I recommend that you close your eyes if it's safe to do so. But of course you can keep your eyes open, it's up to you. You may find that after a while that you, you really don't want to keep your eyes open. Notice that your mind starts to wander, your mind starts to drift, and that's okay because it's just a sign that you are relaxing even more deeply. There's no hurry, there are no rules, you can be as relaxed as you choose to be. You may also find that you start to feel more sleepy. Which is quite natural because the more you relax the easier it is to just drift into a gentle slumber I'm going to be doing this with you So as well as saying the words, I'm also going to be focusing on those parts of my body. As we start the focus from the top, top of your head, 
and maybe you for whatever reason can't really get in touch with how the top of your head feels you know so it might be worth just touching put your hand on the top of your head just so you can get in touch with that feeling And when you take your hand off, you still have that physical experience. It's the nerve endings have been stimulated in your scalp. And focusing on that area. Now focusing on your forehead. Just being aware of how your forehead feels. You may still also be aware of how your the top of your head feels. even though we're now focusing on your forehead. You may even be starting to notice how your eyes feel because that's very possibly the next part that we're gonna focus on as we move down the front of your body. Just noticing how your forehead is. Something that I like to do is I like to raise my eyebrows because it causes the forehead to crunch up a little bit. Just to get more in touch with how my forehead feels right now. And even though I'm not suggesting that the top of your head or your forehead feels relaxed, you may notice that that happens, that calmness spreads across your face naturally, easily. As you focus on your eyes, your eyelids, your eyebrows, around your eyes, the eyes themselves, the muscles in your eyes. If you want to, you can just squint your eyes just to really get more in touch with how your eyes feel. Every time you squint them and you let them just go loose again. For some reason they seem to feel more relaxed. I personally notice that my forehead and my eyes seem to, I mean physically I know that they're close together. But there seems to be a, a real connection. And even though I'm focusing on my eyes, I can still notice my forehead. Noticing a feeling on the top of my eyes. Not 
quite sure what that sensation is, but it felt a little bit like discomfort. Maybe eye strain from all the you know computer work that I do. Now that's dissolving. I just noticed that my hands have become really relaxed, like really floppy, even though we haven't focused on your hands yet. Just did a quick body scan of my body then whole of my body seems to be feeling more relaxed. Maybe yours is too. Continuing now to focus on your mouth. Not just your lips tongue as well, your teeth, your gums, just being aware of how your mouth feels, without any judgment, and not really trying to change any certain physical feelings but just accepting however things are right now but also aware that relaxation is most certainly going to be spreading throughout your mouth as it has done in your eyes, your forehead, your scalp, and maybe already has spread that relaxation into other parts of your body before we even focus on those parts. As your mind slows down, so very easy to just listen to my voice. As you now, we now focus on your jaw. The whole of your jaw, starting from your ears all the way down to your chin, reaching up to your mouth. choose to open your mouth a little bit to stretch your jaw or just allow it to be as it is. I'm noticing that my chin is starting to feel quite pleasant actually. Not sure why that is. And I can feel that connection between my, chi my chin and my lower teeth in my mouth. Relaxing. Just on its own, of its own accord. We now focus on your ears, which of course, you know, you can move a little bit when you move your jaw, your ears slightly move. And it's a part that seems to be very connected to your jaw. to 
be exactly as they are. I'm not trying to cause your ears to relax deeply. You can just uh, be here, observing both of your ears. Sides and the insides. Knowing that your ears are also connected to your throat and your nose. feels as if there's this cleaning machine moving down those passages just clearing everything up allowing you more opportunity to get in touch with how you feel in your throat itself but also where your sinuses are, the sides of your nose, just notice the feeling of the skin on your cheeks, maybe you can Feel your cheekbones. Moving down to the front of your neck. back of your neck and the sides of your neck all connected and you can focus on the back of your head and the sides of your head connecting top of your scalp all the way down to your neck, just being aware of how those areas feel. all the way down just noticing how your spine feels maybe the muscles on either side and noticing your shoulders that area between your neck and your shoulders on both sides. Maybe the 
as soon as I even focus on my shoulders, the shoulders start to relax. Without even intending for that to happen. Because it's a natural process. shoulders, down your upper arms, your biceps, triceps, your backs, underneath your arms as well, just being aware of how that part of your arms feel. Noticing your elbows. The elbows are a part of your body that may be, I know they're limbs, but still part of you, that maybe you don't take much notice of. But they do such a great job for you. They also deserve a rest. They also deserve time to let go. Focus into your forearms, into your wrists, your hands, the top of your hands, the palms of your hands. fingers, your fingertips, and my hands are already relaxed. When one hand gets relaxed, the other hand always follows. And when both hands feel relaxed, I notice that quite often both of my feet also feel relaxed. In the same ways when I was focusing on my back, even though I've not yet even mentioned your chest and your stomach.
was nice even to have some silence. As you focus on your chest. Notice how every inch of your chest feels. The sides underneath, on top, and there's the muscles in your sides that are connected to your chest and connected to your back. Noticing that when you breathe in, you can feel your chest. And your stomach. A place that personally tend to sometimes get a bit tense. You can just feel Just allowing your stomach to be there, the whole area from your chest down to your belly button, and then below your belly button, your abdomen, which leads to your groin and your hips. Just noticing how those areas feel. How calm your stomach and your abdomen feel now. on your mind, you may notice that your mind has slowed, really slowed down. You may even be surprised at how slow it has become. Focus on your buttocks, your groin area, just being aware of those areas, noticing any natural relaxation that automatically occurs on its own. Not because you want it to, just because it does. feel 
was relaxed. And even though we're moving down your body, the parts of your body that we've already focused on tend to completely and continuously relax even further. on your hips, that area that divides your upper body from your legs, the whole of your hips connected to your you now focus on your thighs, the fronts of your thighs, the outside of your thighs, your inner This is an area that has lots of muscles. And you can allow, if you choose, to just accept the level of comfort that's naturally occurring. you focus on your knees, the knees do so much work for you, just like the elbows, kind of unsung heroes, perhaps we don't notice them, unless there's an injury of some kind, and then we realise how important the knees are. So you can allow that focus on your knees to maybe move all the way through your knees so that you can focus on that part underneath your knees bit where your leg bends, again another part that's not really given much attention to, and just noticing how your knees feel. As you move down to your shins, now your calf muscles. 
muscles. to your feet. bottoms of your feet, your toes, each individual toe, on your mind again. Notice how your mind feels. Getting an over sense of how you feel as a person right now. to just be here. 